Right. So, I ended those four, because basically I've got a situation, if you can see it from this angle, this isn't getting pulled back. I just want to take a look and see why. Um, and then let's do it going this way instead. Right. So, Still got a few screwdrivers missing. Oh, it's just a little set for computer stuff. Computers in it. Uh, there's a little find something stronger than this <laughs> um, which I thought well I do have but it hasn't my tools were out of my sight for a while and the, uh, what was there isn't still there anyway I'm gonna let's just open these I'll go and find something a bit more suitable so I've done the four on the other side I need a little thin blade, flat ended screwdriver. And uh, let's see what's actually going on with this because it's not pulling the latch back. I'm basically pulling this down and it's not it's not pulling that in. So yeah. it's not gonna come off because this little thing needs undoing and I thought I brought up the screwdriver I needed, but it doesn't seem, uh, but I didn't, and it doesn't seem to be available. So I'm gonna go and find something like that. Something like that, okay. All right, I've just got some, these little, oh, little. Uh, somebody thought I was a Chinese restaurant. Another little job I've got to do is I've got to just drag everything out and go through everything and reinstate things, tools and stuff like that. So I'm just sort of grabbing whatever I can get to hand. And uh, yeah. Doing my Joe 90 look. There you go. My recent member of the I Need Glasses Club, and I'm still hanging on to the coattails of denial. So, that famous river in Egypt. This thing screws a lot, a long way out. Do you know what? I can really see the clarity of the uh, the footage that I'm shooting. <laughs> At least as far as the phone's concerned. I'm shooting on an iPhone. Right, so, um,
obviously that's one side of it. And this is the other, right, I can see what's happened now. Well, that's, so this is, um, I have to put it in front of my face because it's on cinematic. It's all, I've never seen this happen before. It's all collapsed inside. Um, I've probably got one, a spare one kicking around. I know there's slightly different measurements, but I'm sure I'll have one that's suitable, but it's just a question of finding it. But yeah, it's properly mullered, as we used to say. before it's just the sort of uh, square you know that this goes into has shattered it's almost like somebody very violently sort of did it but then again yeah I don't know I don't know what Yeah, that's... Oh, I didn't expect that, so all this sort of graphite stuff's come out and on the car park. A car park? On the carpet. <laughs> Weird. Um, yeah. So, anyway, that's that. This isn't going to be the one, I don't think. I might get away with it. I have got away with it. I'm going to take this out, go get one, I'm, I'm uh, not expecting to find one right now because there's just too much of a bunch of stuff to do. So, as in sorting things out, it's a, it's a, it's a big job, there's loads of boxes and bags and stuff to go through. Anyway, um, that's all my stuff, but so a couple of screws here, they're out, and then just get in something to, because it's obviously been sitting there for a while. So actually I might be able to do it some other way. If I put that through there, so that it's both sides of the door and I can just do it that way. And then, now, I can't remember the name of the guy who fitted these doors. It wasn't me. Somebody else hung them. They're just, what are they, London Pine? Something like that. Um, I might have put them upside down deliberately. I liked, I liked the, small, the small sort of bit at the bottom and at uh, the top, which I think normally it's the other way around, but I don't, I don't like them like that. Anyway, so... Uh, anyway, so there it is. So what's basically happened, if we get this in here, is that would normally go in there and it would normally be square in there. And then this would obviously put on it and it would cause that to go flush instead of sticking out but that's all exploded and so this ain't much good to anyone now um, unless you want to be locked in a bathroom so that's it. it means for right now um, I could probably put the handle back on but it's not going to be closing or locking the door. So there you go. That means I've got to, I'm going to tidy all this up mess, mess and uh, I've got to go out and uh, get one of those, which I've just come back from being out. I, I forgot about this, to be honest with you. Um, I started doing it just, it's, it's a habit 
you know, to just think, oh, just crack on, just do it. And I thought, actually, if I film it, I can show people how to do it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but that means that it's a different audience. It's, so if you've never done any DIY before, if you've got a job like that to do, it's, there it is, just four screws either side, take the handles off, undo a couple of screws here and pull the thing out as I did there. And as the famous old saying going, refitting is reversal of removal. So there you go. All right, cheers guys. Hmm. Well, by the magic of telly, it's a few days later, and I'm rustling a bag which has that. Now, it's a silver one, not a bronze one or a brass one. Uh, which doesn't kind of match, but one that was all they had in the hardware store. But also, I'm kind of, you know, brass is uh, in for a dig. I said that to someone the other day. It was never a word or a phrase or whatever that I used to use. But I remember hearing it. And I really didn't like it. And now I'm just old, so I'm using things I don't like. Anyway, whatever. Right, so take it out of its wrapper. Oh no, <laughs> I don't want to have to do that. Guess what I have to do? I have to bore the hole, chip it out, or do something. Ugh. It's just got to be like that, isn't it? I mean, man, look, it's like, is it any different? 
Yeah, it is slightly, isn't it? So slight. I'll tell you how slight it is. It's slight enough to not notice until you wish you had noticed. So, what about if I put it in the wrong way? No, it won't even let me put it in the wrong way. <sighs> what I'm also realizing is that No, no, it's okay. I was kind of thinking that maybe, no, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's gonna be quite important. Maybe it's gonna be quite important where I take this out from. No. So if I, if I do it evenly, it would be all right. So basically, I've then got a, something to rather this out. I wasn't thinking I was gonna have to do that. I've got to bore the hole a little bit bigger. And I think actually I've got to do it evenly, a little bit off the top, a little bit off the bottom. Otherwise this thing's gonna sit a little bit too high, a little bit too low. It doesn't matter when you're putting the door handles on for the first time, but I wanna use the same holes. I was just thinking, Straight swap, you know. It was a straight swap. What happened is as soon as I pressed record on the camera, this got bigger and that got smaller. But hey, that's Hollywood. All right, so time to remind my neighbors that they have neighbors. Oh, right, well, a few times on a few videos, I've mentioned the fact that things are all over the place. That's me, got no one to blame for that, except for, I think it's just, it's basically, well for a start I didn't film it, but this was me polishing the headlights on the car and not putting the drill away. And I, don't, I think that must be the first time I've ever done that. You know, used it and not just sorted it back out again. But anyway, so yeah. All right, I was gonna just use a, and I might even still just use a drill bit and just Gently sort of chamfer it out, or whatever the word would be. But then I remembered I got these. Go and do that. Um, it's going to be a bit too violent. I don't. I think. I also think they're a little bit bent as well. So one or two of them are. I'm not sure which ones. So I think I am actually gonna just use a drill bit and then I can sort of control what I actually sort of bore out. And I think it'd be top and bottom, yeah. So a little bit off the top, a little bit off the bottom. I'm screwing this into place now, sorry. Interesting little thing as well, I so thought this was going to be a quick thing that I actually stuck a bunch of mints from in the fridge into a frying pan to warm it up gently while I was doing this. <laughs> so I thought I'd just quickly put this in and that'll be that. Now I'm getting all this out. Anyway. Uh, you still there? <laughs> Right. Okay. 
So, what I'll do, and I don't know if I can get any better view for you than that. Maybe that. And all I want to do is just pour it out a little bit. A bit harder than I thought, these doors. One little thing is that my neighbours our new neighbours and they did quite a lot of work to their place before they moved in and uh, so I think I've got some noise tokens in the in the bank <laughs> uh, they're absolutely fine I'm just thinking if they're like what are you doing well I'm making a hole bigger now um, I stopped because I don't really think it's going to do it. I didn't really give it a, a full go, but I just don't really think it's going to do it. I don't think that is either, but anyway. I did think it was bent. Um, oh my word. It's not going to do it. I might have to. Oh, obvious little mistake. This will probably do it, hopefully. I do have a chisel, of course I have a chisel, but it's buried like so many other things. Oh. Okay, time to get on it properly. science I'm just I don't think I've gone deep enough so a little bit more This is 
kind of not the way to do it. But then again, it wouldn't be my channel, would it? Without a whole bunch of, this isn't how you do it. <laughs> that mean it will go in at that angle it won't go in at the right angle it'll go in at a right angle not the right angle you know what I mean here yeah, it might let me just check them in it it will um it will be alright I'm just This bit is just twisted a little bit because it doesn't have the hole where you want it. Anyway, it's gonna work. It just needs to be encouraged to sit where I want it to sit. is still cooking. <laughs> right. Okay, that was the other thing I forgot. It's just ever so slightly, ever so marginally too big. I wonder. I think I think my channel should be called Wrong Wrong Tool for the Job. I think that seems to be <laughs> the uh, common theme. So also got for something else I want to do, but couldn't do today because it's raining. Let's have a look. No, these are, I think they're designed to break off when when you've had enough of them. I'm not going to use that, it's going to snap. So, let me just check something. gonna really work. And it's not really the, so much the sides that I'm bothered about. I think the sides are probably okay-ish. Maybe you can do with a little bit. But it's the top. I'm just getting closer and closer really to finally doing the most important job of all, which is 
pulling everything out and putting things back into some sort of order because really and truthfully, just a little chisel, you can just chip this out, it's not a big deal. But that's it's buried somewhere amongst the whole underneath a whole bunch of um, bags and mess basically. It's a bit ridiculous what I'm doing, but there you go. I mean, or I could just bash it in, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna find a way of doing it properly. Now, here's some protective eyewear. Now it's two stage protective eyewear because as well as covering your eyes from being bashed into by things you don't want, it's also got this other special protective mechanism, which is called clarity. It helps you to actually see what you're looking at, should you need assistance with that. Providing you're not in denial about that fact, and so therefore feeling a slight adversity to using them. Uh, So I'm still a newbie when it comes to glasses. So I um, find myself not really wearing them as much as I perhaps could. I think I should go down, stir my mints, and grab a chisel. Just a small little one or something. Hmm. Unless, of course, I shouldn't. When you're at someone's house and they've got something you decide to help them fix and they've got no tools, you kind of like, and sort of say, well, it's quite amazing, you know, you come up with ingenious ways. You know, of getting around that fact. Well, I do have tools. They're just hanging up on the floor. And the floor has like got several floors. It's got a ground floor and it's slightly just on top of ground floor and then on top of the on top of, etc, etc. And the filing system leaves a little bit to be desired. Hanging up on the floor is all right if you haven't got too much stuff. And once you get multiple layers of floor, things disappear. All right. 
I know it's not solved it, but I just want to see what the next bit I need to do is. So that's all right. So just a little bit out of the top. By the way, I've been keeping a little bit of a tabs on the football. What a season this season's been. The National League, or just all of them, been really amazing. The drama, just the players and the fans just seem to be really up for it as well like never before except perhaps with some some teams uh is that right now i've gone all weird yeah all right so So I would normally use a hammer. Hmm. Don't really know. There's no excuse for it not going, well, there is an excuse for it not going back far enough. Okay, I'm gonna find something to just make those edges a bit bigger and just measuring as well. goes back just that little bit deeper. <sighs> Fun and games. <laughs> right, latest in a long line of things you shouldn't use is a metal file. make the difference there's another thing that I suspect is a problem as well and that is that it's just a bit too deep for the hole so yeah I found a blunt chisel but it's too big Glasses again. This is just blunt. Be better off <laughs> using something ridiculous like this. It might be catching here rather than inside the door.
There you go. And then the tradition of all average woodworkers the world over. Just needs a little bit of wood glue, wood filler. Might even call it the right thing just to give the impression that I know what I'm talking about. These um, don't seem to be the right ones. Let me just hold it in place for now and find there'll be some thicker ones from the other day. Yeah, cinematic's not so great when you got something in the way. Right, so. same. I don't think they were. Sort of optical illusion. I know some are longer than others. So I think it's Yeah. All right, it's these two. Oh <laughs> Just sorting out those. Right, so. These are just slightly thicker. Oh, I have a little clue. Are they all? Yeah. They're uh, uh, Phillips head as well. I'm not sure if I even brought up. Oh, I did. Seem to be much use to me. I'm not going to use that. That's going to cause trouble. Perfect. If even that. What a horrible mess. Anyway. <laughs> you never know, it might it might work. I'm not even sure if these are the right ones now. Came out. I think they must be. Probably got some more drama to come. Let's have a look. What do we have here? Got Right, this evidently can, seems to go in whenever. So, let's get one of each in, one in each corner. I'm going to go 
for me. I'm just pretty sure I can just put this in at the end. Yeah, don't need anything else in there first. All right, so that the case. thing is yeah just sussed it out you don't need to put it in before you know it doesn't have any inner fast fastenings on the inside of the handle or anything so that's pretty much it and uh Gripping quite tightly, surprisingly. These handles are a mess. I've lived in this place 25 years and really within six months of moving in, was able to move and I won't go into it, but didn't. And gone through various different evolutions but basically in the first couple of years did you know bathroom kitchen converted the loft did various other things double glaze you know usual stuff and um it's got to that point now where although it's quite it's sort of stood the test of time i think in terms of the general look of the place but Minimally, it needs, needs a lick of paint, but really, when you look closer, you realise it needs a bit of kind of redoing. But visually, you know, at a distance, it looks all right. It's not like I haven't got like a a poo brown um, kitchen or anything weird like that. Well, maybe I nearly do have, but you know what I mean? It, it sort of stood the test of time. Or maybe that's just a sign of me getting old. Maybe anyone, people younger than me would look and think, Really? It looks like an old person's home. I mean, I don't know, let me know. <laughs> but um but basically it's it's annoying because it's like I have decorated you know, changed a few colours here and there over the years, but the basic sort of hardware of it is the same and um it's got to that point now where it, yeah, like I say it needs doing, but I'm kind of like I, if I want, if I'm going to do it, I want to really strip it out. But I'm here, and it's not like I've just moved in, and I'm all full of enthusiasm. I'm kind of looking, thinking, am I doing that on a new place? But then, if I did the tidy up that this place needs, you know, it would help to sell it. I would get my money back, probably, and you know, provided I don't go crazy. So by not doing it. You know, but I just think anyone else when they move in are going to want to rip things out and refurb. So it's a bit of a weird one. Um, I have no business um, 
hovering in that state, so I have to make some sort of a decision on it. Um, and then there's always these things of like, well, where do you go and why and blah, blah, how and etc. etc. So who knows? That I just need a little bit. I'll be eating the world's driest mints in a minute. Anyway. That was always a bit like that, and now I know why. Tighter. Right. Okay, so that's that. Take my glasses off so that I can walk <laughs> and see if it works. tidy up after eating <laughs> it's the King's Bank holiday Monday and we've got two meetings today zoom ones See you in a second. <laughs> oh no, this is the way I'm going to do it first. So, right, what I am going to do is bring my phone in here because if I can't get out, at least I can call someone. There you go. Now, to be honest with you, that is a five minute job, right? I didn't know exactly, it may, you know, I didn't know exactly what, it, what I was gonna find if the shaft that goes through was gonna be broken or if there was some weird mechanism, you know, it's been so long and I didn't fit it anyway, originally. But no, all you do is just four screws here, four screws that side, pull these out of the way, two screws there, pull that out, get another one the same size, slot it back in, two screws on there, four on here again, four on here. The only thing is it's got a little lock on it, so there's one little screw just to pull that out. And that's it, you know. Um, but if you can, if you want to string it out a bit, I suggest, well, hide your tools, uh, use the wrong tools for the job. Um, if you don't have the best eyesight in the world, don't, don't use your glasses. Uh, and then hopefully whoever did the, the original install will have done it inch perfect. And the chances of you finding a replacement that's millimetre the same size, you know, so if you can find something that just not visually, but by the millimetre is just slightly too big and you've got a whole bunch of stuff you can get involved in instead of just swapping them out or swap them out. Let me know how you get on. I hope this helped. <laughs> Who'd be me? Cheers. Bye.